So I posted my last quote of the evening on social media, thought nothing of it, went to sleep, then I got hacked. So I woke up in the morning to like thousands of messages, WhatsApps, DMs, Facebook Messenger messages, like every possible form of communication. And all it said was, you've been hacked. You've been hacked, you've been hacked. I think you've been hacked. I'm guessing this is not you, you've been hacked. And I was reading these messages absolutely everywhere. And at first I was confused. I'm like, how could that be? I've got all my security right. I've got all my passwords protected. They're super complex. You know, like the longest password you could ever think of. The password that you usually forget, that's the kind of password that I actually have. What is my logon password again? So I started scrolling through my feed to see what everyone was talking about. I was shocked. I could see like 10, 20, 30, maybe 40 articles posted from my name that I would never sanction. Some of the most disgusting, filthy, and ridiculous content that I'd never even read, let alone share. And it was posted from my name. And every time I refreshed, there was more. And every time I checked my notifications, there was another message from someone in my audience who was saying, you've been hacked, Jay. And I knew I hadn't posted them. There was no chance it could have come from anyone I know. I was concerned at first. I thought, what are people gonna think? What if someone thinks it's me? Is everyone going to unfollow me? Are people gonna change their mind about whether I'm legit? legitimate and what I talk about is really stuff that I believe in. And then most of all, will I be able to get it to stop today? Then one thing changed everything. I put up a post that said to everyone who followed me that it wasn't me and I was trying my best to get it to stop and I really appreciated their support. I was grateful that they were being patient with me. When I posted that, I then started reading through all the comments and it was incredible for me to see that all the comments were things like, Jay, we knew it wasn't you. Jay, we trusted you. Jay, we believe in you. We know you'd never share stuff like that. And so many people were sharing with me how they think I could actually overcome all of these people who had hacked me. And I thought to myself, how fortunate am I? It was incredible for me to see the power of a conscious community. Even though that there were people out there who probably have so many other challenges that they're going through trying to take me down, I was fortunate to be protected and supported by every single one of you who still believed and trusted me. It's amazing that in life, so many times we feel cornered, we feel picked on, we feel like everyone's just is coming down on us. But when we have a community, when we have a group of people that we can turn to, that know us for who we really are, that know us beyond what they see, then that's a great place to find comfort. That's a great place to find support. You know what the most expensive real estate in the world is? It's not Dubai, it's not New York, it's not San Francisco, it's not LA, it's not London, it's here, right here in your mind. And we should make sure that we don't let anyone live there for free. We allow people and thoughts and ideas to rent space in our mind for free. We let them just come in and squat and pass whatever thoughts they feel like to completely incept the way we think. And similarly, when these people hacked my social media, there were so many thoughts that were starting to hack my mind. But when I saw this positive community, when I saw the support you all gave me, I was able to switch that thought off. I realized that when we build something powerful together, hackers can hack technology, but they can't hack our unity. They can't hack that bond. They can't hack that relationship that we've been able to create. And therefore, when you find people in your day-to-day -day lives that are trying to hack your mind, that are trying to hack your space, your group, one thing you should remember is that if you've really created value, if you have a real connection, that person will never be able to break through. Now, this doesn't mean that I didn't sort out my Facebook security. It doesn't mean that I don't have great passwords and protection. But what it did show me is the power of people. And what I realized is that the hackers can hack my media. That's up to them. But the hackers won't hack my mind because that's up to me.